Have you heard of the tree top dwellers who fed on their fellow tribesmen? That's the Kurwai. <laughs> also known as Kulufu. They are a tribe of nearly 3,000 people living in West Papua, in the Indonesian province of Papua. The tribe was unaware of the existence of Western civilization until 1970 when anthropologists embarked on a journey to study them. What then did the scientists and anthropologists discover? They discovered 140 foot high tree houses. These tree houses are in a small village of the Kurwai people. These monstrous tree houses are designed to protect the people from the elements and against attacks from outside tribes. They also serve to keep them safe from evil spirits that lurk below the treetops and jungle canopies. Kuruwai tree houses have large banyan and wambom trees as the foundation or main poles. For additional support, the tribesmen add smaller poles to the corners of their homes. Once the poles are set and bound together with raffia, construction of the floor begins. The walls are made nest and are followed by the roof which is made of sago trees. What a view! The tree houses look great under the night stars. After the home is blessed with animal fat, holes are cut into the roof to give hunters safe access to wild game. Fire is the greatest risk to the Kuruwai tribe. So, they plant their homes with integrated fire pits that make for a speedy and simple break amid a crisis. The fire pits are designed on cutaway floor areas in case things go awry. A traditional Kuruwai house it's a technological marvel when you consider what it is made from. Whole families live in single tree houses that sometimes have different living quarters for men and women. Though the homes are extravagant, they only last for about five years. One might be wondering if the Kuruwai tribe have a religion. Yes, religion plays a key role in how the Kuruwai people function. The universe is filled with spirits of demons and ancestors. Alexander Miskov, a writer for Documentary 2, states that the tribe's members pay special tribute and respect to the spirits of the ancestors. Gino Silamtena, the spirit creator, is paid tribute to and thought of during their day-to-day -day activity.
believed to whisper its own name upon death, which allows the tribesman to know exactly which spirit has possessed their loved one. However, the recent discovery of their tribe and its location has forced authorities to attempt to end their cannibalistic rituals. Though police try to enforce local law, some believe that the Korai continue to practice cannibalism to this day.